location in space. Spatial history in the near future. Mostly astronauts have gone to space. First, first cosmonaut was in 1961. Earth, they got around Earth. They got an international space station and, and to the moon. And also some really, really rich people got to space. <laughs> like millions of dollars. The first civilian to go to space was Dennis Tito in 2001. And when I said a lot of money, uh, the first four people paid 20 million, others paid 25 million and 35 million. The distance is about 800 kilometers, or 440 miles round trip approximately to the International Space Station. The departure is from Kazakhstan on the Russian Soyuz spacecraft. It's between 8 and 15 days to get round trip, and unfortunately, no trips are scheduled are until 2013. Some plan to go near space like a theme park, like a theme park trip. It's much less than to the International Space Station. It's only 200,000. And it's to near space, it's about 62 miles one way. Back and forth, it's 124. Neutral carriers, Virgin Galactic, like Virgin Mobile stuff, like with the cell phones. Mm -hmm. Departure is from the up Upham Spaceport in New Mexico. And the duration of the trip is only 2.5 hours compared to 8 to 5 days. Space travel in the next 20 years. The near the moon carrier space adventures on Russian spacecraft Soyuz. It's 356,000 kilometers and 406,700. It will take about 8 to 9 days and is $150 million. The first, trip around, the first trip around the moon is scheduled for 2015. The already accepted guests in 2012, though, the Galactic Space, Sweet Space Resort is, is something that orbits, orbits Earth, and a three-night stay will cost $4.5 million, and, of course, one, a one-night stay will cost $1.5 million. And a guest, guest will enjoy 15 sunrises a day as the hotel or, orbits Earth every nine minutes. That's a lot of sun. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure when it will be available. People could go to Mars in the next 20 years, astronauts and civilians, and, and the Dragon Space Capsule is, the, is, is actually going to the surface of Mars. And it's, it's mostly for unmanned payloads, but, and eventually astronauts and civilians into space. They're, they're planning to take cargo to the ISS in 2016. Some of the child variables of, of how long and how fast we can get to Mars is how, how far is it from Earth? It's between 54.6 million kilometers to 460, uh, to, sorry, to 460, the 400, the 401, sorry, no, 54.6 million kilometers to 401 million kilometers. But that's, between, that's about 34 million and 250 million miles. How, how long will it take, the trajectory, if it's non-stop, how many stops, if it's non-stop, how, how much fuel will it cost, how much fuel will we use, and how much will that fuel cost, and the duration of trips, and also repairs to, to Repairs to damages. Now this slide is a uh, is about the mass and fuel ratio. I mean that's the next one. It's it's about the delta V, which is right there, and that's and that's the uh, velocity. That's the net velocity to the vehicle, which is pr pretty much the mass change, and the the delta V of the vehicle can be calculated. Calculated using the rocket equation, where m is the mass of propeller, p is the mass of the payload, and ve is the velocity of the rocket exhaust. This is known as the Chibalski rocket equation. And this is just the, the ratio of mass, of mass to fuel. And if we were doing Mars, it would be way up here. So, 
Yeah. Okay, so the, how fast we should go, this is just a chart to show, show how much it would take the mass to fuel. Now, I've, I've told you about some cool slides, and this one's just like a, a future voucher. And that thing right there is supposed to be like the gnome in Travelocity. <laughs> and it's, imagine if you will, normal people like you being able to go into outer space. Now instead of imagining, why not you try it? You space lost this value package, which includes the best burgers out of Earth, the in and outer space burger. <laughs> right now, space, so I told you a little bit about space travel and history and where technology has gone. And in conclusion, now, space travel is expensive, not too many people are going, have gone. Someday we'll be going to Mars, maybe taking off from the moon. Technology is improving. More people will be going to space in the next 20 years, and I want to be your job broker. Mm -hmm. <laughs>